Welcome to The Release Show. I'm your host, Brittany Scarniers. On today's show, we have Andrea Salazar from season two, Making the Cut. She is a Latin American fashion designer and founder of World Reown brand Seta. Let's welcome Andrea. Hello. Thank you How for having are you? me. You're welcome. How are you? I'm great. And I'm so excited about our interview. Yeah, me too. Yes. Please tell us about your past as a young girl. How did your childhood influence your current position now? So my childhood was a pretty um, happy one. Uh, I had my like very loving parents. Um, I grew up in a solid family. Uh, I have two other siblings, my older brother and sister. So I have like a, this beautiful childhood with them. Um, and the fashion came from my mom and from my grandmother. So I grew up seeing dresses and my mom sewing and you know it's like since i was a little girl i was uh, surrounded by fashion inspiration that's great that's the same kind of uh, um, upbringing i had my mom used to sew too and that's what yeah. it, uh, inspired me to be a fashion designer <laughs> it definitely came from there yes yes as a fashion designer myself i know there's a lot of competition in the fashion industry what inspires you to keep going? Uh, determination is one of my key um, points to to keep going, to be working in this industry because it's not easy. I think nothing is easy in life, but if you do it with passion and, and if you believe in your project or in your dream, I think you can do great things. Um, you have to stay creative. You have to travel, like, uh, feed your mind and try to keep things original all the time. Like, don't copy anyone. Just try to be yourself and believe in your style. It's like my mindset, and I believe in that, and um, I reflect that on my designs. That is great advice. What advice would you like to give those who want to be a fashion designer in this very competitive industry? Uh, a piece of advice is to, to stay creative and to have clear your DNA. Uh, the DNA is very important at, at the time of creating a brand because it's like the, the, the recognition you give to the market. So it's very important that you it's, it's stick to that and don't try to be someone else. So, I mean, if you like to be, for example, edgy, more rocker, or like try to stick to that style, but try also to be versatile. Uh, if you like to be more vintage or maybe more uh, avant-garde, it's like, it depends on the style. And I think it's great because in fashion, you can you can do whatever you want. Uh, it's as, it's a it's an expression, a self-expression art. So I think it's great because you can express that DNA through your um, through your designs. With that advice, what is the process for creating your new collection for your clothing line? So I have different processes. I don't I don't have like a strict um, process to do it. Sometimes I got into a into a trip. And I see something I like, something that inspires me. So I got inspired from my trips, uh, from art, also from fashion. I love to to buy books, uh, history of fashion as well. I love to go to museums. When I go to Europe, I go. I love to go to museums as well to see all the sto the history, uh, architecture, textures. When I go to the fabric store, it's great because you can see all the the fabrics and you. It blows your mind. So I think it's like a mix of things that gives you the, the result. So yeah, I think it's you don't have to you don't have to have like a um, r rules to do it. It's like just let your mind fly and dream. How does your culture influence your designs? So I'm from Colombia. I came from a Latin American country. Uh, my country is beautiful. It's tropical. You you find a lot of natural beauty there. Uh, mm -hmm. Also a lot of 
talents as well. Um, amazing, t amazing fabrics, amazing textiles. So of course I came from this uh, country that has all these um, uh, rich, um, yes, uh, culture. And also I got inspired by all the beautiful women from Colombia. Um, they are all very fashionable. I mean, the Colombian girl loves to be uh, beautiful. I, I mean, it's like, it's something from our culture. Uh, we, we keep taking care of ourselves. And it's like a, something we learn since we are little girls. Yes, I've heard that I have a coworker who's Colombian and she speaks about that as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all of, it's like difficult to, to find someone that is not beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful people. So mm -hmm. that's something that really inspires to dress them. You were a contestant on season two of Making the Cut. Please let us know all about your journey and what made you want to be on the show. So the journey was amazing, I have to say. I don't have any complaints. Uh, it was a very growing experience. Uh, it changed my life for sure because it gave me, um, I mean, I reach more people. Now I can tell my story, I can inspire. And definitely was a very difficult one too because as I said at the beginning, nothing in life is easy. Uh, if you want to have success, you have to hard work. Um, mm -hmm. The journey was basically stay, stay, stay focused on designing. Uh, we were on COVID and that was something I can say was good because we were only locked down designing. This time we mm -hmm. didn't travel, so it was a great experience and amazing production team too. That's great. So give us some behind the scenes um, experiences that you had from like creating your designs, how much time you have to create these designs. And are you designing these? Are you creating these designs um, from beginning to end? So actually, we, you didn't have too much time to, to think. Um, you just had the, the assignment and you have to start creating right away work with what you have at hand. Um, so it was pretty nice because I just got um, I just got clear what, what I want to design and had like my patterns ready. Um, I mean, when they gave you the topic or like the 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 trend you have to develop, it was easy because I already have all my patterns and all my silhouettes ready. It just it was just only choose the fabric, the consistency, the cohesion, and start cutting and bringing up all the 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 detail the attention to detail that i do it was great i think it was like a i don't know it was for me it's like having fun a lot mm -hmm. when i design yeah because you're passionate about it so that's why you were having fun when you're passionate about something it's not work it's just fun sorry no worries we're back. Yes, i'm here yeah okay i'm here <laughs> Let me say, I love your style. Now let's talk about some of my favorite pieces from the show. The black two-piece set with the dramatic sleeves and bedazzled de detailing on the pants. What inspired you to create this design? Oh my God, that one was amazing. Um, that one was created at home. So that was, we have more time to create that one. So mm -hmm. we could work more on, on this one, more polished one. Um, okay. I don't know, I, I wanted to do like a, a statement suit something iconic like you have a suit but pretty dramatic with this sleeve with the buttons on this on the on the waist uh also the silk i love silk fabrics um it gives you a lot of elegance sophistication so i was in love with the fabric since i saw it i was like oh my gosh i want a suit in this silk so everything has started like that, like sh since choosing the fabric until doing the last silhouette and, and putting the last button, it's all about details. So yes. for me, it was like a, a very a, a statement, brand a statement suit and something that represents me. Um, and you can also use the, the pieces separately. So it's like mm -hmm. also thinking about versatil versatility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you made a couple of t-shirts. I actually have one on and I, I love, love that. You, 
I love that you added these shoulder pads. Like that gives the funkiness, edgy look to it. <laughs> what inspired you to create this shirt? Oh my God, you look so modern. I love it. Oh, thank so, you. Like, um, I, in 2020, uh, one of the most strongest friends were the pad tags. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love them. When I saw them and I started like uh, seeing it in the street, I love like the, the the shape it gives you to the body, like the structure and the shoulders. It's something that inspires me a lot. Even when I when we make jackets, we love big shoulders because it gives mm -hmm. you like that powerful um, feeling. <laughs> so the t-shirt of definitely elevates your t-shirt because a t-shirt is pretty simple. So when, when I designed that one, I put the pads and then the seal is the representation of our brand uh, through the through the show and also uh, it was like the the symbol of the finale collection. So mm -hmm. I think it was fun to put a print on it. And uh, yeah, I love yes, it. Yes, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The story you had to create on the show was amazing. It was like a museum. How did you come up with the layout? Did you get inspiration from your store in Miami? Okay, yes, definitely. I got inspired by my my existing stores, uh, but I want to do something different this time, something more elevated, more elegant, and also the customer experience. Uh, I put the, 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 the QR codes for each piece, so so the customer can scan it and navigate through the our virtual world. I don't have this in my in my existing one, so for sure in this one I want to do something. I don't have it. Improving all the time is like my 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 goal. Uh, but I got inspired by museum because our pieces tell a story and gives you um um it transcends generations. So for me it's like. It's a museum, so it's something like um, you can keep in your wardrobe for a long time, even though your daughter or your your children can heritage. So for me, it's like thinking about that, like leave our pieces uh, through time and leave a legacy. That's so nice. Do you plan on creating a kids line? Uh, let's see. I want to do some pieces, maybe like a okay. mom and daughter matchy matchy piece. Um, yes. Let's see. We have to take market, but definitely we want to expand our portfolio and have like men's and kids. It's like our. Let's see what happens next. Okay. <laughs> Who do you think was your biggest competition on the show? You know what? I didn't feel that I had competition because all of us we were very different. We had very different approaches, different styles. Uh, of course, there were more uh, fast people sewing or doing whatever they know to know to do to to do. But in other things, I I felt as strong in other points. So I didn't feel like the competition was like, oh my god, I have to. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Uh, intimidated by this person? No, I didn't feel that way. Uh, I love the diversity that we had because we were all from different backgrounds and we had different styles. So I think that was great. It was like a very um, uh, balanced competition. I agree with you on that. I, I enjoyed the diversity as well. Yeah. I never felt like anyone had the same style everybody was very unique and even when you guys had to do like team um design you could tell who did what in the designs yeah yeah definitely yeah you're right you really sold yourself to the judges in the last episodes where does that drive come from in you so <laughs> yeah actually it was my determination that i had in life uh, I'm a very um, disciplined person. I mean, I, I love to do things with passion, with consistency. Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to do things uh, halfway. I love to do everything well done. If I don't do it well done, I, I prefer to don't do it. So I think that drive comes from my determination in life. And I, and I learned that from my dad. My dad is like also a very successful in his career and like, 
I grow in a, I grow up seeing him being successful and being disciplined. So I think it came from him and my personality as well. It's like, um, like everything I want to achieve in life, I go for it, no matter what. Yes, I could tell that on the show. Like I could tell how hardworking and dedicated you were to your craft and the passion you had. It was just incredible. I love the part where you guys had to uh, talk to the Amazon lady about um, your brand and what your projection for your brand. And it was incredible. I just felt how passionate and determined you were in that and everything that you said. And, and even the judges said you had the best feedback. Thank you. Yes, it was great to work with these incredible people, talented, having back, having feedback from the judges was also amazing. Like, yes. A lot of growing with them. Great. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you hope Making the Cut brings to your brand? And what's your dream celebrity to style? So, of course, Making the Cut, we're going to uh, bring us a lot of new opportunities, new doors opening. Uh, all this publicity and all uh, this exposure has been amazing and it's going to be giving us more role and opportunities. And definitely, I want to dress celebrity celebrities as Hollywood ones. Um, I could say Dua Lipa, uh, Hailey Bieber. Um, all these Kardashians, I mean, all these big celebrities that uh, are inspiration in fashion nowadays. Bella Hadid, all these top models as well. Uh, yeah, we, we want to get um, our brand with them. I mean, yes. let's see. Yes, I can definitely see Courtney Kardashian in your brand. Yes. Her style, yes, yes. I can definitely see it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You, Mm -hmm. You have been published in Vogue and Elle. How do you feel when you saw your designs being featured in these well-known magazines? Uh, my, I mean, it's like you feel, of course, you feel very happy, uh, satisfied. You feel that hard work pays off. And I mean, it's as the, I mean, this is our everyday uh, hard work things. Like you can stop working. It's you see the result when you really uh, work hard for them. So definitely I feel uh, very glad, happy and blessed as well, because sometimes you can, ha you can work hard and don't have these great opportunities. So definitely I feel, I feel blessed. I'm very grateful to have uh, all these opportunities in life. That's great. Fashion Week in New York is coming up and you're show are you showcasing in any shows? So this year we are not doing any show because we're still in COVID and we're trying to to wait a little bit that the market uh, recovers. Uh, we are now investing more in our online and, mar and digital marketing. So we are still dropping collection. We're still uh, working on new drops but we are working everything in our digital platforms for now. Let's see, we have plans for next year to be in any in one of the shows, but let's see what happens. We have to uh, give a time uh, for yes. fashion industry recover more. I think it's, yes. it's not the time to do a, a show yet. That is so true. I just saw you were in California. What can we expect from your next collection? So we were shooting our holidays and new collection uh, of 2022. Uh, we were, of course, inspired by the desert. We, we did amazing shots there in the, in the desert area. Uh, California is amazing. It's, we, we filmed the show there and it's one of the, of the fashion capitals as well. Uh, you have beautiful uh, landscapes and beautiful locations for campaigns. So it was great to be there again. Do you ever see yourself being in Paris Fashion Week or any of those fashion weeks out, outside the country? Yeah, actually yeah. We, we went to Paris Fashion Week even, it was like a month before pandemic came. It was February 2020. It was amazing experience. It was, oh my God, Parisian flavor. It's one of my favorites. It inspires me a lot. 
and it was great to be there having it was a beautiful um venue and we had the opportunity to present our collection there so definitely we have to come back we have to come back when when the industry uh, gets ac activated again what are your future plans for your fashion brand so future plans we have of course, we, we have in mind to keep growing our portfolio, our product portfolio. As I said before, we want to open uh, more stores if we have the opportunity in like in other fashion capitals. Um, also, we want to do a worldwide, like a pop-up worldwide tour. We want to visit okay. different cities in the world, bring in the brand, bring in the, the experience, the brand experience is other projects that we have um yeah i mean it's a lot but you have to think ahead so you can plan accordingly when do we plan to see your new collection drop so we are doing new collection drop for winter uh, this month we are doing a a new drops collection and then uh, our holidays collection is coming on november so we are having uh, a lot of glitzy and sparkling pieces for the holidays. So yeah, I hope you like it, guys. Yes. And what about your shoe collection? My shoe collections. We keep working on boots. Uh, we love boots. Uh, mm -hmm. It's one of it's there's like top sellers too. So mm -hmm. we do boots during the summer. We do sandals, but. It, but all the time we do boots and, and belts. So we keep working on them and we're gonna have new pieces soon too. Okay, I can't wait to see your new boot collection. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. yeah. For, Please? For, the fall, for the fall winter season, they are great. They are? Okay, are you having any like higher boots or are they gonna be like um, ankle or no, calf? No, this time we're doing like a, a half calf uh and we have one that is high boot okay until a uh, knee boot where yeah. is there any more information that you'd like in your viewers to know from the show uh no actually it's like uh, as i said before it was amazing experience uh i feel very grateful for the opportunity um i i get to know more people so i love that i love that networking i love a lot of, of people are coming to the store in Miami to visit us. Uh, I don't know, it's great. It's great to feel that feedback from people, to 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 feel that positive messages. It's amazing. It was, it's was been a, an amazing journey, definitely. When they announced the top three um, that was gonna be on the show, how are you feeling when your name got called? Uh, when they call me the third place yes <laughs> i think i mean it was their decision i didn't feel sad at all i felt um on the contrary i felt very proud to be there in the finale and to have the opportunity to be until the end um i feel i felt i felt good it was fair a lot of people say it wasn't fair but i think they have their 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 strategies and they have already their i mean it's it's their decision so i respect it but i feel more than grateful it was amazing to be there and present the collection and that's it it was rapid the the, the way it was it was great all three of you are incredible with your own unique styles so all of you guys won <laughs> thank you yeah actually i felt that i won I won the third place, but it was already, I was already a winner, so I didn't feel bad. It was great. Please let everyone know how they can follow you and continue following your journey and also purchase some of your attire. All right. So you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Andrea Salazar Z. And the Zeta Instagram is Zeta underscore apparel. It's with S, S E T A and also our website www.setapparel.com and we ship worldwide you can also uh, 
shop the pieces on Amazon, Amazon Fashion, in the Making the Cut store. So it's great. You have, you can shop online and you have your pieces in front of your of your door. And if you are in Miami, come visit us to our store. It's located in Brico City Center in downtown area, Miami. Second floor, block C. Yay, we'll go and support Miss Andrea and her Thank clothing you. brand. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany, for the invitation. It's been Thank amazing. you so much for being on this show. This is so amazing to meet you, and I will soon be at your show, um, be at your store. I can't wait to come in and see your new collection. Um, you said this month? Next yeah, month? Yeah, this month we have a new drops, new drops collection. Okay, so I'm super excited about you that. Well, thank you so much. You can you can see all the drops on Instagram. On Instagram, we post everything. So Instagram is our number one uh, communication platform. So you can okay. see everything there. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, and I look forward to continuing to see uh, your journey and following you on Instagram and purchasing some more pieces from you. And thank you again. Thank you, thank you for the invitation. And nice to meet you. Nice Hope to meet you see too. You soon. Yes. Thank you guys for tuning into the release show. I'll see you next time. Bye.